Never, never invited again. Bro. <laughs> Stop breathing on me. Bro, he said this guy keeps telling me not to breathe. He wants you gone, nice fam. He, he, wants you, he wants you wigged. Breathe in the other direction. <clears throat> yes, guys, welcome back to Titan Talk. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to Tiddy Talk. The last one was all about <laughs> a lot of titties. Adesanya's talk. titties. Yeah. You can't start a podcast like this. <laughs> like, this podcast, right? I love <laughs> come closer, come closer. No, but what we do need to start off with is like a massive thank you. Actually, massive. Because the downloads, the shares, the likes, we weren't expecting it. Like, So a quick round of applause to the man them, to the fans, Add the, the followers. Don't you have an applause on your soundboard? Oh, that was the... What was that? <laughs> this is, I was just clicking through around the soundboard. Oh. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Bro, I can't. I literally can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe how many times, like, bro, like people were sharing it on the personal profile and like the business like pages as well. I was, I was, I was very humbled. I was, bro. I couldn't it. believe it, bro. People came back on Insta. Who was off Insta to come back and promote our shit. People bro. who never post on their stories. Lo- bro, bro, love, love for everyone, man. I can't lie, man. I thank you for all the feedback. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. All yeah. the f- every feedback, uh, like I can't. Oh yeah, man. Thank, thank you for everyone who supported, man. Stay tuned because we got a lot of things in store, a lot of surprises, and we're going to keep you entertained for a lot, man. That's a promise. And also, please, fam, just try get us to three hundred uh, follow followers on Instagram before the, the end of November. End of November. That's forty. That's four, That's like thirty nine more followers. You know. Please, man, just make it happen, man. In a whole month, you could do all it. your burnout accounts. <laughs> follow, follow, just, just follow it, man. It's cool, man. Yeah. Just n- no aunties or like family. No, aunties, everyone's no, involved. No, no, your dogs, no, no. your aunt- aunties especially, man. Come <laughs> on, man. But yeah, man, thank you for everyone, man. Uh, it's, I actually couldn't thank you enough, man. I'll, just keep, I'll be here. Fa- I could do a whole episode just by thanking people. Honestly, you know? like it felt so weird to like release it. How did you guys feel when we were releasing it? Go on, we let the guest. Oh yeah, by the way, we, we joined. Uh, well, let's do a quick introduction yeah, around, yeah, yeah, around yeah, yeah. the room. So obviously, as your boy AB. Myself, Kyojin. Yeah. Alaska. The Laska. <laughs> Come on, man. They don't just well, say about time. Laska, they know who I am, man. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm here joined by my boy Landlord. Yeah, what's good? And if you don't know about why he's called Landlord, don't ask. Why is he called Landlord? No, I told you, I told you don't <laughs> ask. You know why he's called Landlord. Yeah, how did you, how did everyone feel about first well, of let, all let, rec- the, let the guess. recording the podcast and then also having it released and then listening back to it? Well, we're not gonna lie, like at first. I didn't think it was going to get as big of a reception as it did. This guy's I'm a surprised, hater. like, what? <laughs> Why are you throwing yeah, it to yeah, me, bro? Yeah, I'm, just, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Best of you, bitch. Basically. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, like they said, in it? Um, I was like overwhelmed with how many supporters we've got. I didn't think as many people were going to share it. So like, I was a bit surprised and I think it's went on the right track, really. 100%, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming on as well, by the way. You already fighting him three times, bro. Can you give it a rest? Yeah, I, oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to show you my, my appreciation. Why didn't you suck his dick? <laughs> Why are you on your knees, bro? <laughs> Listen, bro, this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you gagging at the microphone, bro? Okay, shut up, stop, 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 right, stop, he's stop. He's never getting invited back on. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that. So if you don't hear his voice anymore in this podcast... It's because he's, he's in prison. Yeah, yeah. He's sus, he's sus. <laughs> Oh right. yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Finally, man. But let's let's get on with uh, the the first, the first. What are we talking about today? I, well, we're going to lockdown next week, so I think first lockdown, topic man has like, to be man like BJ, big BJ. He, what time did he come out yesterday? He was meant to do like a. I swear he was supposed to come out at four, and he came o'clock. out like like he, eleven p.m. He was bossing a big one, fam. <laughs> He's getting in before noon on, on November. Them, fam. On them Catholic kids. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I take that guy more serious if if he had normal hair in it. Is mad. Fam, it's 2020 yeah, and he's still wearing baggy suits, fam. <laughs> that guy's a mess. Bro, if there's anyone there, yeah, if there's if there's a picture that goes with the definition of pedophile, is is Boris Johnson. Apparently, I heard that he's gonna resign like before the next election. When he, he when is the next again. election? I don't even know. I'm waiting for Green Party, man. I'm done. I'm done with this. Fam, I don't know who to vote for anymore after yeah, all that, that Jeremy Corbyn stuff happened. He got suspended from the party. Green Party, fam. Green Party's where is where is that, they're, man? They're a joke, fam. I might vote for BNP, fam. Fuck it. I've been voting for BNP, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, My dad was BNP. But yeah, huh? Yeah, Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi national boy. Yeah, I'm a group. <laughs> but yeah, my man came out and said that we're going into lockdown. How do you but, guys feel about it? 
I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel, yeah, because at one, it's, it's another lockdown. Obviously, we can't do what we need to do and that. Yeah. But I can't lie. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I, if I want I want this to be like dead in the waters, you want it to at least early 2021, man. This whole year has been written off, you know. Bro, we had two and a half months of normality. Was it even normality, though? It was like, can I... January, February, March. It was like, you were good. Oh, okay. Like before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. after that, because I went Budapest to March, that like mid-March, when I came back, it was lockdown. Mm. I'm kind of looking, it sounds weird, isn't it? Because obviously bad things happen in lockdown, like people lose jobs and stuff like that, or their mental health might be bad and things like that. Um, their mental health is bad because they don't listen to Thai and talk. Yeah. We're going to keep you entertained for our lockdown. Editing that out. Huh? What, how are you going to say stuff like that? What's, what's wrong with you, fam? Listen, man. If you, listen, if you, uh, if you want, twist, if you want to improve your mental health, listen to Thai and talk. Yeah. yeah. As as that. Thank you. I feel lockdown. like I kind of need lockdown, you know? Why? I want to stay at home for a month. Like I'm, I'm tired of coming out. Even here, I'm glad that we're like just putting all our creative energy into. Like, this is the third time he's come here. The third time. The he's, fir- he's been. Want to be real? The third time, bro. I've been here like seven times in the last month. Yeah, that's a lie. And how many episodes have we produced? Well, one and released. Know. Listen, quality over quantity, man. So Everyone the- liked our first episode, you know. Yeah, that's good. That's good, isn't it? Uh, there was barely any negatives. The only negative was you, fam. We got jokes now, yeah. All right, come, but no, but seriously, I, I don't know. I just feel like, would you? Would you have anything planned for lockdown? I have to go work anyway, but um, I like the fact that everyone else will be home. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, this guy's a dark heat. No, but I don't have to have like the pressures of like coming out in it. Like, for example, if people invite you to moves, like I want to go a month without moves. Oh, okay, but yeah, that could be one side of it, but like, let's say like a lot of people, yeah, they want to like get on with their lives, isn't it? That's the main point why people don't want to go into yeah. lockdown. You, you know, you, you could assume you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna still have to go to work, are right? Yeah, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a key worker, so most of us still have to go to work, and it's like yeah. not really much has changed. Yeah, so it's just standard. You're a key worker. What did you do again? No, 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 no. You work in a you work in a brothel, like? No, no, don't don't. Healthcare in a brothel. You did cavity checks, all right? Come on. My G. That's getting edited, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. I don't know, man. I don't mind another lockdown. I don't mind another lockdown. It's still hard, We could edit it. We could edit all the other episodes and just throw it out there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need... To, yeah, so we won't... Obviously, we won't be meeting up during lockdown. So... No, like, we ain't supposed to be meeting up right now. Just don't say that, fam. It just stay live. And obviously, it's going to be hard for people... To go into lockdown, but I'm good, looking forward to it. Good things come out of lockdown as well, man. Let's just try to keep it positive, man. Lockdown is not always negative. Oh, you lots feel like most people wasted their time on lockdown or what? Listen, if I see another school cake on my Snapchat, yeah, I'm dashing my phone, bruv. I'm tired of seeing dead school cakes. Did you not everyone any? can bake, fam. Did you buy any? No. I don't, I don't trust Actually, you. Actually, no, 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 no. I, 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 bought, I bought some, like, some, some cupcakes of... Um, little kids, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't lie. I don't. I don't trust buying food off people's houses. But I knew them, like kitchens. I, like I knew them. But yeah, no nah, man. Let's try to keep this lockdown positive, man. Because the first one was shambolic, fam. What your ideas going into this lockdown? Then? What's, what, Is it what, what things we've changed? Got? And what are you planning to do? <sighs> I just plan on just editing, man. I can't. Lie. I just want to keep busy. I'm. I'm busy anyway. Like, I just, I'd, I'd probably get into some calisthenics to work out at home. Kind of what? Calisthenics. Okay. <laughs> You are not nothing about working out. We're gonna have you on like the pronunciation watch, fam. You know, uh, like football players I'm from the streets, man. Yeah, there's a uh, Shut up. <laughs> um, but yeah, but nothing else, man. Let's. Oh, okay, obviously, I'm gonna have to go into work as well, innit? So, what about you? Yeah, brother. Like, I've been going gym in it. So, like, I just started. Oh yeah, gyms, so, like, gyms close as well. That's a big L for me, and it's like three months in, and like they want to like dash me out like, already. Yeah. So it's a big L. But <sighs> I'm tired, ty- gee, I'm so tired of hearing cro- Corona and COVID and all these dickhead rules. I'm just, I'm done, fam. I don't want to hear it in 2021, man. So what if they need to do? I'm, yeah, do I'm it, done bro. with it. Do bro, it, like, bro. People are talking about these things are too harsh. Da, da, da. I want it gone. Yeah, man. Like, I don't want to have to deal with coronavirus anymore in my life. Same. I want it gone by January 1st. I don't want to hear that word ever again. It's not going to happen. Oh, by no, my no, birthday, no. by the time of, I want, I want my birthday to be how my, my birthdays are usually are. So like, what are you saying? Like, um... In terms of obviously, you know what they're doing, innit? like in terms of people being at high risk and like their lives being at risk and all. Like, what do you think? Do you think like if it was you running the country, what would you just end lockdown and putting them people at risk or what? No, nah, what I would do, yeah, I w- see like a first lockdown. At first, I would have started earlier, and second, I I wouldn't have ended as quick as I did. Do you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, schools are still open in this lockdown. Yeah, bro. Have you seen the way kids cough? 
I wish we had the video for this one because they, they literally oh, everyone's seen the meme in it like with their tongues yeah, like, out like, like that is you. Yeah. bro what are you doing fam I swear you tweet I, I work in an environment that has, has children there it bro I saw a kid with Jimmy Sample <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here but I saw a kid Bill yeah. Cosby ain't in pen I saw a kid pick up a tissue off the floor not his tissue and lick it bro obviously it's not the children's fault in it like their kids, their parents should teach them some house training or whatever. Yeah. Is, yeah. I swear I heard this child's story. But the, but there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's still kids in it. I keep that in here. No, hey. Still and kids then they're gonna it. go back and then like spread it to other people. Exactly. People like, put parents, shit in their man. mouth. People put things in their mouths. You can't expect kids not to do that stuff. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So schools should definitely be closed by now. I think school school should have been closed, man. And then obviously, fuck like, them kids. Yeah, fuck them kids. But like. Obviously, they have a few. They need a future as well, isn't it? Huh? Like, in terms of the education, like you don't want to put that on pause, isn't it? That's just yeah. one year of their life. So, what do you do? Well, then it'll be one year for everyone. Uh, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't. I, I obviously understand compared to other people, they'll be behind you, yeah? but that generation themselves will all be one year. Behind. Everyone will be behind. We can just everyone we can have like you know like we know what happened in twenty twenty. Uh, yeah. So we get, cut them some slack, give them some leeway. I saw this one video today, yeah, actually on the way here. So it was Boris Johnson in House of Commons, yeah. He was getting onto another MP. Um, this was ten days ago. Um, so what days? And it's the first yeah, of November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of November, yeah. So ten days ago, um, he was like, "Oh yeah, this guy's proposing a new lockdown, and he does have, He has no idea." Of um, the impact of how of to like, come out. Yeah, yeah. He's basically saying like, what sticking is on him, basically calling him a dickhead in House of Commons. Yeah, ten ten days later, we're in lockdown. He's a hypocrite, isn't it? So, in, in other words, if you're ever thinking of moving to the UK, please don't bother. Go to like Sweden or, or Germany or some shit. Sweden or Germany, no? Okay, maybe not Germany, but Even Sweden. People named Doofenshmirtz or some shit. Like I know. That. <laughs> I swear that's that. I swear that's, me, that. <laughs> I swear that's a doctor from so Finnish. Wh- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you can't speak, you just released like a whole Sorry, waterfall on my own family. This is why you can lo- even say nothing. As well. <laughs> this is why the lockdown is happening, you know. <laughs> People who like, we might have kids, bro. I lie. Yeah, hanging around it too much. <laughs> Boris moving a bit mad, though, man. The hypocrisy right. is real, isn't it? Like, people saying, oh, basically, there was like a graph, or at least, um, forgot one of the newspapers, right? So, in bear warnings, how coronavirus cases are going up. But he ignored all of them until the last minute. We're literally the last country to lock down. Imagine. Bro, we had them man in Wuhan, yeah? lock, First lockdown or second bro, lockdown? Bro, they're, they're going clubbing and stuff, you know. The man in China, where it originated from, innit? Joke, man. Bro, they're going clubbing. They're living their best life. And we're here doing what? Here we are. I'm bringing out people. Christmas. I'm bringing out, bringing out people fighting for toilet rolls. Past that. Nah. Past that. Fam. I, man, I think this is Armageddon, you know. Like, this Walking Dead or some shit. Might as well be, you know. People are just walking around like zombies, man. I live in North so... I see knees every day. We live all over. That's what I'm saying. I see zombies every day. Nah, but oh, yeah, man. I'm ready for everything to be over. Same, man. Uh, like just like everyone else doing. So, just listen, man. If you're furthermore, oh yeah, I got one more thing to say. Yeah, if you're one of the dickheads that went to a Halloween party yesterday, yeah, bro. I hope your mom gets coronavirus, whoa, fam. Whoa, whoa, yeah? whoa, 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 whoa. Waste, man. Fam, man, yeah. are going, man, are, man, are, man, are going to Halloween parties, yeah, just up, just up as sketchy nurses, yeah. Um, my, my man, BJ is making an announcement. I like that. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> oh, this. What else is happening this year apart from okay, cool. lockdown? Let's hope our our lockdowns are all productive indoors. I've, yeah, I think we can try to make the most out of it. Um, obviously it's a sh- like a terrible situation, but we gotta make the best out of it. Mm. No, mistakes on last one, what, 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 what mistakes time. did you make last lockdown? Well, bro, I didn't do jack shit. Well, wanking too much. Well, I, I wish I was just productive. Innit? How long was the first lockdown? Seven months. Five months, man. Five it's months. This, this month, just a month, isn't it? No, it's, it, if it, I don't think. It's not gonna last. It, it's not gonna. It's not gonna last. March, April, up, May, like, June, like, July, August. That's it. Six months. Yeah, How this. No, I don't think. No, I swear it did. June. When, when did they open up? Like essential work. After July. Essential work After opened time ago. Like essential. Essential work has been working. Yeah, that was been during the lockdown. But for open, open was like July. When when like July. restaurants open or not? Yeah, it was in July, right? That was August. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So <laughs> we came out. We come out lockdown and go and do ER to help out. That was yeah. just, apparently that raised the cases like yeah, like 20%. it did. Joe you know, man, this is Joe man country fam. I think they're trying to do that herd immunity thing, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a conspiracy theory. But the opening the schools was definitely mad. Like that raised the the cases so much. As soon as they went back to school for the first week, 
Their people got coronavirus. And they have to lock off the whole year or something like that, I like. Yeah, like if one person in the year gets it. Like the whole year gets locked off. Like off. two weeks, yeah. Most most schools had it, I think. Well, kids are symptomatic as well, so you wouldn't even know. So they were just spreading like wildfire. And then once adults get it, like, what well, 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 speak. Then you'd find out, really. It's peak. How many current cases are, are there right now? Does anyone know? Obviously, they've been testing more, innit? So, like, like, none of the numbers are actually legit. Anyone that goes to hospital will be diagnosed with coronavirus. I don't you know this. So, 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 so continue. I, I know someone here yeah, who works in the uh, NHS call center, yeah? So, so they could call up here yeah, and say that um, that they got like a cold or they, they, they got cold symptoms. Like say they got coughing, they're coughing and that. Yeah. yeah. And, but they will log it in, they will log it in as a corona case. I don't mind that. Do you know what I'm saying? But why, what is the need of making uh, like the numbers significantly higher than it is? I don't mind that because people, we get scared people don't take it seriously, innit? I saw a guy today saying like, oh, there's 320 deaths in, I can't remember when the time in it. He's like, oh, some of it gets logged as like, if you get diagnosed with corona yeah. and you have a heart attack within those 28 days, they say it was coronavirus in it. Okay. Um, and he was saying, what about all the deaths, more, more than 320 deaths of like suicide, domestic abuse and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know what annoys me about that? Like that statement in it. People only care about suicide and domestic violence. Yeah. When it's, when when it's, it's a compare, comparison. Yeah. yeah. When to compare. Yeah. Like if someone came to you and said, oh, like I'm going through domestic violence, yeah. As long as you don't have nothing to compare it to, yeah, yeah. You, you're not deep in how serious it is. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Do you know, do you know how mad that is? That's like, only and the only gets talk about, yeah. Spoken about when it's the woman. When is when is a man? When is man getting beaten up? Yeah, like Johnny Depp and that. Yeah, that was mad. You know what I'm saying, man. No one's speaking about Johnny Depp, fam. Yeah, that that was kind of mad. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I'm I'm heard, yeah. Worship sainted. She what? she apparently she made. I said, Bridget's shit on Johnny Depp's bed and she said it was a dog. <laughs> do, you know, do, you, do you know how funny that is? So, and he you wanted know, to you get know, You know my man, yeah? My man said, no one talks about domestic violence when it's to men, yeah? And then now he's laughing about someone shit no, on what? the bed. Bro. So wait, so wait, so wait. The dog shit in your bed is domestic violence. <laughs> a dog shit in your bed is domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, if, if, if my wife got someone to shit on the bed, bro, I have bang in the face. <laughs> 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 no, well, that's that's funny, but all the other shit weird, like I yeah, but that's proper being I violent. Know, I just felt weird of like how people <clears throat> they just use these things to. It's like you know when people say, oh, you know, like the whole all lives matter thing in it. When people are like, oh, what about the kids? What about these people? Why does it matter? Stuff like that. But when it comes to knock, like when you when it's time, when it's actually when it's time, time to, to focus on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, one saying anything. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. if you're saying all lives matter, yeah, which obviously you shouldn't because it's like. You're trying to diminish uh, like a good cause, isn't it? Yeah. Then when it comes to it, then actually like, speak up for all lives if you're going to yeah. say that. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously, first of all, you shouldn't be saying it, but you know what? You know what? Yeah, I mean? yeah, it's I like, know what I mean. You're comparing domestic violence to... The other thing is like suicide and domestic violence and stuff like that. It's not infectious. Coronavirus is infectious. And plus, that been going on. No one's... How, how, like how recent... Issue, isn't it? How recent have been people talking about mental health and suicide and that? Very recent, bro. It's only been a few years people talk about. It's been happening for a while. It's been happening. Mental health, like you said, it's been happening, yeah. It has to be like a continuous thing that we work on. Whereas coronavirus, you got to like terminate it right now as you can. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. All your effort in now. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's not like you're going you're gonna to go into lockdown and that's it. Like all suicide stop. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's why we need to That's why we need to have this platform, yeah? So we can just call out people who's chatting bare shit. All these people with fucking Twitter accounts and I just start naming them. We should, we, we should, you know. We actually should. like Cyril Damasio or some shit like that, fam. It's just best shit on Twitter, fam. Uh, who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> the one that's always chatting shit. Pronunciation was way up. What was it? How'd you say it? <laughs> <laughs> you know you got hate for when you remember her app, man. It's, it's a, huh? Oh, shit. I was actually... He's, you're not even on Twitter <laughs> like that, though. I know, I'm not. He's got his. I see he likes to pop up on Twitter every now and then, though. Like, yeah, he like retweets yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. the worst thing is, yeah, he's got like a normal account and he's got a burner account. He doesn't use any of I lost the burner account because I thought the pass it. Following too much kids. <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> chill. Why are the kids on Twitter, bro? I said, chill, chill. <laughs> Daddy, chill. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that is one of my favorite videos. You know, have you seen that video? There's, there's like a video of you. This, I think it's like a kind of flam. Let's say flamboyant guy in there, and he's arguing with some old middle-aged white man on the steps, and they're arguing, they're arguing, and then the guy goes, "Daddy." Chill. Chill. And the white man's like, what even is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what were we saying? Um, lockdown, man. People need to stop coming up with conspiracy theories, in my opinion. Because some some people are like brain cells, man. What are conspiracy theories people are saying? I saw something like, oh, they're closing down everything except from the essential workers uh, because all they want us to do is work and make money for the economy. 
And I'm just like, <laughs> do you, <laughs> bro, do, do people not work in restaurants? I lie. Do people not work in gyms and thing. bars? I lie. Like everything else is work experience. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, and it's also like so obvious that like, yes, of course they want the economy to run. Like, yeah, we live in a capitalist. I swear, it's the worst, man. worst recession in, like in recent history or something. Like I don't that. Know, it's the worse than the one in two thousand eight. Two thousand eight, isn't it? Yeah. What was that to happen to us, man? It's cool though, man. We're gonna get through it, man. Our, our generation is kind of g though, man. We're, we're not gonna get through it because our generation gonna be fucked, bro. Hello. We're not coming back from this, bro. No, nah, we will be, man. We're coming back. I don't know if you're coming back from it. I might die the next day because I got coronavirus, but it's calm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you are. Stop breathing on me, fam. Bro, what do you want you to hold my breath and speak? You try that. He spoke it. He spoke it. Stop Stop saying my name, fam. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) Kyojin. Fuck this guy. Oh, well, yeah, man. Should we give them tips of how to be productive during lockdown? lockdown? I did it. I just thought this now. You can exercise at home. You could do like some home workouts and that. If you ain't got space, you could paint or some shit. I know a lot of people that are taking up like arts and crafts during lockdown. I'm not gonna... talking about tips. He hasn't done shit this whole fucking quarantine. <laughs> yeah, quarantine just started. He ain't even started yet. Uh, what else? I tried. To, I can't lie. I'm kind of hypocritical because I tried to bake during lockdown. But I didn't try to show it, but I tried to make some uh, chocolate brownies. It was pants. I expected that. Listen, you say you're going to bring your wings today, Buffalo man. Wings. Yeah, no, there's too much. There's too much to do now. Too much on the agenda, man. Joke, man. I ain't trying to transfer food from one house to another, innit? No, we live in the same house. Cock in the hood. <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he was setting no. up for like a prostitution <laughs> service, you know? It's calm, Call up man. Everything, every, everything's in due process. I need to sort out this GoPro and this memory card and that. And everything would be good to go. <clears throat> Trust me, man. I've been cooking up. What else, what else could, you, could you do in lockdown? In lockdown? Well, it's, it's November, so you can't do any of that stuff. Any of what stuff? You know what, you know what I mean. No, no, no. Because yeah. no, no, November. Yeah. How do you know oh, about that? I don't, yeah? I don't know about that. KJ flicks his bean. <laughs> 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 so what, what are you saying? What are your, what are your tips for lockdown? I've been to him, yeah. So you can paint. Um... You're playing footsie with me, man. What's wrong with you? My foot's not. Gee, I've got long, I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> this guy got long toes. Um, what else? You work out at home, paint. Um... Can you paint? I'm a, I'm, I'm a sick artist, man. I don't GCSE art. I thought you got kicked out of GCSE art. I got kicked out of GCSE art. So this guy, yeah. He, I still got to say. I, remember, I feel like I remember this guy did the whole year, all that work here. And when it came to the final exam date, they didn't let him into the exam. Uh, I don't, I can't remember. All I remember, yeah. I, I feel like I remember that. All I remember when I had arts class, yeah. This guy me, me and my here. brother, we just had a few periods. <laughs> swear, it was actually. <laughs> it was so dumb. But, but this was in year 10, but when, when I went back to year 11, she probably loved me off. It's a bit weird, man. Maybe mm. she got some good dick in for the summer. What other tips? I, I'm the only one that's giving out tips, man. What tips do you have? Watch football, innit? Makeup tutorials like... Why <laughs> 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 these makeup tutorials like the girls be making bare piece or like they can't even complain, innit? I can't, I can't, like, like, it. I can't lie, like all these girls that have these like fashion pages and makeup pages, they make good they do, money from sponsorships and that. Brand cl- collaborations yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Heard you practice makeup arts in your arts cheek. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I'm so used to talking about you. Yeah. Both names, man. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> what else? Read. I can't read. Because a lot of man, yeah, I know. I can't I know, even I know read. I know you can't read. I've seen that Lil Pump video where he's like, this is good because he got pictures in it because I can't even read like that. He's a Trump supporter, you know? I swear, Trump. bear these man out. Yeah. Trump. Trump. Why is everyone Lil Wayne? Because no, because basically Biden or Biden or whatever that dick his name is, yeah. he wants to propose like a sixty percent tax or something like that. Oh yeah, that's why fifty cent is yeah. waiting for Trump as well. Fucking waste, no, man. That's a bit over the top, you know. Sixty huh? percent. Yeah, sixty. It's not. It's not sixty percent, bro. It's thirty nine percent, and it's if you earn over four hundred k. That's sixty. The the sixty percent. Yeah, so every four hundred k to earn is sixty percent. No, it's if you earn over four hundred k, you get thirty nine percent tax increase. So where did sixty percent come from? I don't know. I said, there was a screen, G. It's not really 60%, bro. It's 39, bro. How many times am I going to say 39? I don't fuck that's, American that's politics. That's still better than the UK, to be honest. Yeah, America, uh, every 100K you make is uh, is a 40%. Yeah. But it's it's like, so you get charged with normal, but like up, up until 100K. So after 100K, every 100K you make is 40%. Are these people acting like, they make bare money in it. So they're acting like taxing them will... is going to hurt them in any way. You've got to look at where they spend the tax. Most of the time, they don't even need it. So they're putting their money... The same problem here. They're putting their money in facilities that they don't even use. Like prison. Use. Um, yeah. 
So I, was, I can empathize with the rich, innit? But like, in the end of the day, like. You empathize with the rich? I can empathize from both sides, to be honest. But Fuck the rich, eat the rich. Well, you don't want to be rich then? I would, no, I would. Honestly, when you become rich, you, you're going to be dodging taxes yeah, as well. I'll nah, tell you. Honestly, I don't think I, don't think I would, you know. I think That's too. Wait till, you, wait till you see 100 bags in your bank account. And you're like, I first want all of, all of that. First of all, I'll never see that. Well, why is why I, I, why I already know I already, why? I already know in my life that I will never see that either. why and I'm happy with that money money isn't everything to me no but I agree with that money isn't everything it isn't everything but what what, what why why are you saying but at the same time if you're earning hundred bags and you're seeing forty bags being taken away a month you're pissed in it yeah but no a month I mean a year yeah but as in like I w- in my head yeah what I would see is I'm not earning hundred k I'm earning sixty k. That's that's just how I would, I would see it. Hundred, if you earn, if you expect to earn a sixty k, hundred k ain't too ambitious. Like you can. can no, no, as in like you know, you know, when you said like you said if you earn a hundred k. Oh, I know what you're saying. You want to earn s- under hundred k, so you earn the. No, no, but you know, you know, you said like you earn hundred k, yeah, yeah. and then you see forty k go from your bank account. Yeah. I would just have it in my head that that forty k is not mine. Oh, I give it to you. Wait, I mean? but what I want to know is why did you say you never see hundred k in my bank account? Why not? Uh, well, well, you know, what, wait, 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 you know, you know what profession I want to go into, fam. They don't get paid that much money. No, but we tell him you can't. We tell him you can't get hundred bags off off this podcast. No, with you on it. Yeah, I agree. No, that's. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys, you guys But yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I'll be the reason you make M's. I don't see like earning a lot of money as like a big goal. I see financial stability yeah, as yeah. a goal, hundred percent. Yeah, of course. And I think if you come from where we come from. Financial stability is everything. Yeah. Actually, the other day I saw um, Philly, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw the so, little Someone asked him, like, true love or, or be rich. Yeah. I can't lie, I'll go with being rich. I'll go with being rich as well. Because true love, I already have true love for my family, and I want to get them. Your family don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go, I'll call him right now and ask them. Truly, <laughs> truly means love in a different way, no? No, but I, 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 can live with, I can live with not being in true love. As in, like, not, like that means no marriage. No, but you can get arranged marriage, you know? Yeah, to a fucking goat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. What else could you do in lockdown? Buy some pets, man. I bought fishes during lockdown. I think one thing that we need to address is... I, f- I feel like there's two topics that go in, hand in hand right now. Go on. Um, probably talk about the Labour one first, innit? Did you see, did you see the report? Anti-Semitism in, in, in the Labour Party. I, I, I know that you got fired for being anti-Semitic, but what happened? So for, you, for those that don't know. I don't know. Probably as well. To be honest, we probably have to pull up the report in it just so that we're not chatting whilst you know what I mean. But from what I know, yeah, they did. They didn't find that he was anti-Semitic. They found that Labour weren't as quick under his control. They weren't as quick as they could be to deal with um, reports of anti-Semitism in it. Okay. How long ago was this? I can't remember. Okay. But the the report came out last week. I'm gonna say something that might piss people off in it. Piss them off. But I feel like this is the hill I can down. People don't realize why. Minority people, like say us Muslims or um, the black community, felt kind a type of, of way. felt a type of way yeah. when we see Corbyn being suspended straight away. We see fed like twelve feds pull up on Wiley's, Wiley's house. house. Music getting taken down, music getting taken on down. All um, social media platforms, everything. Because if we're saying that is the valid response to someone producing hate speech, yeah, which I think that's what should be done. Yeah, like yeah, it should be done. Yeah, like but investigation should happen. Yeah, suspension should happen. All those things, yeah. Yeah. But bro, we every Western leader in the last twenty years has promoted Islamophobic rhetoric to everyone, made it very, very, very Tell normalized, yeah. or they've made legislation that has disadvantaged black people. Yes. Yeah. And where is our justice? And okay, it's and it's rolling not, off that. You're going. Go what are you going to say? It's not about because I saw people on Twitter saying. Oh, you can't do this. What about ism? You can't say like, what about Muslims? What about black people? Because let me tell you, I'm gonna give you some facts. Let me tell you something else. Well, as well, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something else. People saying we we're trying to divert the issue away from from anti-Semitism in it, yeah. bro. When, it's getting dealt with though. When, that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's, actually, it's getting dealt with. So w- there's no issue. Yeah, like you guys, you guys are getting the fair justice yeah. that we all should be getting. Yeah. Why can't we feel type, some type of way? But not even not even that, bro. You see, when Boris Johnson won the election, yeah, and Jeremy yeah. Corbyn lost. Some guy went on uh, Sky News saying, he said, Boris Johnson has been seen as a misogynist. So like... Don't disrespect me. I know what misogynist is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, breaking down it. So grievance is to women, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> then <laughs> he's, he's been described uh, as a Islamophobe. Yeah. So like... What did he say? The, um, the letterboxes. The letterbox like. thing. But yeah. it, goes, it goes worse than that, bro. He has an article in his book, either his book or a newspaper. It was titled, or a chapter or something like that. It's titled, Islam is the problem. Pro- the problem is Islam. <laughs> Do you, know how, <laughs> do you know how mad that is? So, uh, Islamophobe, and also 
he's he's racist as well. He says things about like Africa's being picking and picking in his with water and smiles. Yeah, water and smiles. Yeah. And then do you know what the report said? He the guy listed all of that stuff here, saying we just promote someone who's a racist, misogynistic, Islamophobe. And she said, well, he's not he's not, but he's not anti semitic uh, But he's not anti semitic is he? Yeah, yeah. Bro, that is when I deep this country don't care about us at all. Of course. Do you know of how much that is? Don't. Of course they do. They list all those things and be like, but look, this not ain't anti-Semitic, bro. Though. This this ain't our land, fam. It's so, weird even that shocked her by it. Like for us, I'm not shocked. Yeah, I'm like, actually not shocked. That's the sad thing. Isn't it? We're just so normal about. It. We're not even gonna do anything it's about. We're desensitized. Yeah. Normal for us. But it shouldn't be. That's the point. People don't understand it, innit? Like especially like the Greys, innit? Like they wanna like. Can I say that? I said the Greys. <laughs> <laughs> like they just, they just, they just can't put themselves in our shoes, innit? They find it so hard. Who's the Greys? You know what I'm saying, man. Just say white people, fam. Okay, you're racist to white people. <laughs> Did you, did you even land your point or did you just say the grace? Huh? No, nah, he landed, he landed. No, nah, he landed. Crash landed. Crash landed still, but. What? Never, never invite again. Bro. Stop breathing on me. Bro, he said this guy keeps telling me not to breathe. He wants you gone, nah, fam. He, 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 wants you, he wants you wigged. <laughs> breathing on the direction. But yeah, no, the, the whole, the, basically the point is, is yeah. that anti-Semitism gets dealt with and everything else doesn't. Yeah, like it's not like we're saying anti-Semitism isn't a problem. It is a problem. Like there should be no hate speech and there should be no big... Bro, but things get Katie Hopkins, with. I don't even want to... I don't even, Bro, everyone made, everyone that listens to this will know who she is, yeah? She made she, a career. Exactly. She, but her whole thing was going, like was bashing Muslims. Yeah. Tommy but, Robinson as well. Bro, Tommy Robinson believes in going on tours, <laughs> writing books. Waste, man. Madness. But bro, if it say something about white people, fam, I'll get a wig tonight. Yeah, that's why it's just frustrating, isn't it? Like, I saw the guy tweet saying like, oh, you might be upset about what happened to Jeremy Corbyn, but now you know how um, us Jewish people felt for the last five years, isn't it? Bro, I don't five f- years? Yeah, as in like when he was in control of the Labour Party, innit? Well, he wasn't in power. Yeah, he was in the control since 2015. The Labour Party themselves. Yeah, but they weren't, uh, they weren't running the country. No, but they were in power of the part of the cons- Labour Party. Cons- the cons- uh, what's no, that? not constituency, just the party, bro. But w- what did they do? What effect did they have? Like, As in, if you're a Labour supporter, that's your party, bro. So so support Conservatives then? Obviously, the guy don't want to, innit? That's besides the point. What I'm trying to say, I feel like as Muslims or like, not us, but black people, we know how they feel more than, even more than, that guy knows how he feels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's he's white in a white country. He can never know how we feel. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not even a fair comparison in my opinion. What do you think should be done? In terms of uh, Jeremy Corbyn? Yeah. I think if we're holding smoke for him, we need to hold smoke for everyone. We need to hold yeah. smoke for everyone. Like who? Drop names. Boris Johnson. Yeah. My guy, Bob Blackman. For those of you who don't know, he's the Harrow East. Harrow, Harrow East, East MP. MP. Big waste man. How is he racist when his name is Blackman fam? What a dickhead. <laughs> I don't think he's racist. He's a, he's um Islamophobic. We can move on to what what going on in France in it because that's that's going mad. Like people are apparently um see the people who carried out the terrorist attacks. Apparently they're part of a, a part they were like part of a white terrorist organization or some shit. A what a white terror ter- 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 terrorist <laughs> a white terrorist organization. Where did you get these sources from? <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> 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 it's the sources just trust random. me I'm just bait or something <laughs> no but it's like that guy man um, bro just cause like it's just that guy who, who, who I don't know what which year this terrorist has happened but he was like oh, Allah Wakbar Allah Wakbar in um, America shooting on things but he was white and he wasn't he pledged allegiance to ISIS but he wasn't in ISIS do you know what I'm saying is that me yeah going around saying that I'm fucking I don't know that I'm part of that I was I'm part of so solid crew and fucking bare bitches and that doesn't mean I was part of so solid crew, fam. Just because I said it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I didn't want to say I'm part of this organization group, yeah, but do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, if, I'm, if, I, if I said that was, and I, 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 was, I was doing I was the very, madness. I was very glad when you said so solid crew, because I was like, what the hell is this nah, guy nah. say, fam? Do you, do you understand that analogy? Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. But apparently there was like a beheading or some shit. Yeah, I just, think, I just think it's Pete, because like... What are the updates? Because I don't know exactly what happened this week. It's literally just that. There was a terrorist attack because of what? Because they put up a picture of Prophet Muhammad on the lower cellar on the government building. So obviously, if he's on a government building and Macron allowed that, it just shows France's stance. It's not one of the acceptance of Muslims in the country. Look how many Muslims there are in the country, bro. It's literally more than England. And you see how many Muslims there are in England already. Yeah. That's more than here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're, dis- you're laying down a large proportion of the population. First of all, they're in what? 
they're living a lot most of them are living in poverty yeah mm-hmm. like the disparity between the rich and poor in France is way worse than in England yeah so they literally have no opportunity and you're shooting them down while they're already down so it's tough it's tough being a Muslim in France it's, it's tough, tough being, being a Muslim in, in general man yeah, yeah. I saw so. I saw some crazy thing about like I think if the fine for not wearing a mask I can't remember how much it was so you get fined for not wearing a mask in it and then a fine for wearing the uh, club yeah well, if, if your if your mask is too mad like it's too Islam uh, like Muslim in it then you get another like three hundred was it three hundred euro fine or something, something right. like that. also on that point then yeah, what these people talking about beheadings and our oh, France talk about oh, crying about beheadings when like they um, they invaded the Algerian shit bro. How are you condoning a terrorist act, fam? Regardless of who he's from, like, you should have been condoning that, fam. I'm pretty sure every, like, level-headed Muslim does not condone terrorism. Mm. Whether it's for Muslims, whites, blacks, period. Yeah? So don't be, don't be saying, don't be saying, oh, France, like, of course France are going to be crying about beheadings. Like, oh, you don't excuse. Bro, I, was, I was shocked. For, I thought you were saying that. I was like, oh my no. God. Like, it seemed like. No, is, what, is, that, is that how I came across? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I said, no, I, no, come on, man. I was, I was a bit shocked. You know? I was like, oh, more editing for me to no, do. Bro. No, 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 no. Like, don't, don't try and excuse a beheading. A beheading yeah, is yeah, beheading. Yeah, yeah. It would make more sense yeah. if, you're, if you're Muslim and you have a platform or if you're, if you're going to talk about Muslim beheadings, come out and say, as a Muslim, we don't condone this. That would make more sense than you coming out to say. I think I how's think France think, crying about beheadings I when they, they took over Algeria? We don't, we don't condone this. Like I think there's a the thing is there's a tricky line in there. Why? Why is that? Because yeah, we don't we we don't condone it, our And I think those people that are jumping on and saying, oh, if you don't want this to happen to you, don't don't post pictures of the Prophet and stuff like that. Like yo, you well, like whatever happens, yeah, you don't. Yeah, keep, cool. You have so yeah, you, don't yeah, kill but you have so much. You so you have so much love for the Prophet now, yeah. Yeah. Because obviously that's very, that's very highly. Disp- I'm not condoning what 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 they've done, yeah. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. But tell them to name five sunnas. <laughs> oh, the only sunnah that they know is marrying four wives. <laughs> Am I lying, fam? Young, young guys told me it was five, though. Huh? Young guys told me it was five. His his, his shake is definitely a, a Sufi or something, fam. <laughs> Jacob. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Am I making a fair point? Yeah, or, I think, I think or am, so. I, am I just chatting shit? I think most yeah. usually you're chatting shit, but you're doing alright now. How about you just? How about you just suck my balls? Get out of here. Anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hard to it's hard to grow up as a Muslim on social media when things like terrorist attacks and stuff happen because then you just start to like not I wouldn't say doubt yourself, yeah, but it does feel like the world is against you. Like you're just jumping. I remember when I was a teenager when the Boston Marathon happened and then like after the whole like Lee Rigby got killed. Oh yeah, that was a madness. Yeah. And it was like, it felt like I just want to go on social media and and, like joke about, not not about that. I mean like in general, I want to go there, have a laugh, find out things about life and stuff like that. He's talking about joking about like unrelated issues. Yeah, unrelated unrelated issues. Like when I go on Twitter, I just want to like laugh at memes and stuff like that. I don't want to, I don't want to have to go on there every day and defend myself as a Muslim. Do you feel like social media has gotten too serious? No, I think social media is what you make of it. But what up the majority of social media users making of it? I don't think they're making it too serious. I think it no, is it what just, it is. It was just a question, man. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> you, cause you're speaking about you coming on just to make a joke, but you felt like you felt obliged to... Not a joke about the terrorism or anything like that. Obviously, I've said we cleared up before. Yeah, yeah no, because yeah. it sounded like, in it? No, but okay. I'm in like, I'm just going on, I want to go on Twitter and just have a laugh at like, I don't know, see the latest news about like sports and shit like that. And then I, I felt like I would have to go in there and see like, oh, the same conversations happening again every single time after a terrorist attack. Mm. Like, oh, if they're so peaceful, why is it why is it only Muslims that are stuff like that? You know what? People say that, yeah. But <clears throat> a lot of people when they do like, because I watch like, a lot of debates and stuff, a lot of people when they do like, try to find out like about terrorism and peace and Islam and that, they end up converting. That's what, that's what I've that's seen. So, man, that's that, I think you're talking about that American guy, like he went up to shoot up a mosque, some hillbilly. And it turns out... No, not that. I'm talking about the people actually come on that to debate like in like Hyde Park and that. They've, they've said... Well, well speaker's school, school now. Man, but the job is hard though. Have you heard of man, but the job? Man. He's 30. Yeah. He's so smart. But yeah, man, as I'm pretty sure as every every Muslim is not condoning what happened. The thing is, we, happened, but we don't, don't, I don't think we should have to, innit? Like, just because someone does something in the name of your religion, why do I have to say, oh, I don't believe in that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's his actions, his what he did. No, but that's, that's yeah, yeah. If someone does something that was in the sake of white supremacy, does that mean every white person has to condone it? No. Exactly, yeah. But you have to be logical enough to understand, yeah. Like, we have to be logical to understand. Yeah, yeah condemn. Yeah. 
yeah. yeah, logical enough to understand that most white people, you can't even say, you can't you hold, ask every white person, do you think well, it's okay? Yes, you of course. Yes, yes, yes. Like same as with any Muslim, you I'm can't. S- bro, but I'm saying that is because yeah. there's no stigma around white culture. There's a very common misconception about terrorism and Islam. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then so, that can be... Like I feel like the bus. more the more people I know is jarring. Like I I know it's jarring. Of course it's jarring. Like do you know what I'm saying? Because I see people going to that walls on tour and stuff. But I feel like the more people that like that will say like no no no. I th- I think I'm okay. I'm okay with coming out and condemning it and saying like obviously this you is feel wrong. Like this, but there's a point where but I, I like, think I, I seen on Twitter yesterday someone someone said on behalf of Muslims I apologize for what happened, bro. I, why yeah, should I, I need to yeah, apologize? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with condemning things and telling you if you ask me. Is that allowed in Islam? I say no. You can't do that, and we yeah, don't agree so. with it. But if I had to go out there and like all this stuff, like oh, hug me, I'm a Muslim. Don't be scared. That, oh my <sighs> god, yeah, bro, like fucking sellouts. What have I got to apologize for? I didn't. I didn't kill anyone. What's a hug gonna do as well, bro? What is? But yeah, I do. I, I do understand the frustration of. Everything. But I don't. I don't feel like beheading someone is the right it's answer. Not, I feel that's like common sense. It's not the right way to go. Clearly, it's not common sense because someone <laughs> done it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Don't talk about France and like they them invading other countries and that. Because then, <laughs> if that's really issue, you should be fucking living in England then, bro. You should have a problem problem with English people. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't, I mean, I don't know where you're going. With. I don't know. Bro, how? Bro, they are the the the, the key. The key um, cog in this whole imperial project, fam. When colonization was going on, it was Europeans, fam. Yeah, if they, if they ran so to, so to dry, yeah, we have nothing at home. We gotta go somewhere we can actually make a living. Yeah, like, that was that, that's saying. exactly that's what I'm saying. That and then we we actually got brought over here to build back up um, the country after Second World War. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Because English people thought that oh, this is like yeah, they thought it was like a day. But that was to like, our mutual benefit, in it. What? That was to yeah. our mutual benefit. Because you get away from whatever. But then again, if you speak to our parents and oh, that, they preferred life back home. Anything that happened, like when you say we get away from whatever, all that whatever is because of colonization. Though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't change the past, though, innit? I mean, you c- we could get people to more like readily accept that. Understand that's happened. it. Yeah. yeah. Understand I think that's it. happening, though. Like, you we, think so? We're educating ourselves about our history and we're not letting anyone forget, you know? That's that's one thing, yeah. I'm glad that this conversation took this took to this direction, yeah. Black History Month was last month, yeah? First of all, yeah? I'm Asian, yeah? But I want to say Black History Month is a joke. Well, you're black. And I'll, t- <laughs> and I'll tell you why, yeah? Not because, let me make it, sh- it's not because it's Black History Month, yeah? But it's like a dick, it's like, when we learn about Black History Month, yeah, in school, we, we learn about, we learn about in primary school, innit, yeah? We learned, see, we started learning in primary school, innit? All the way into high school, like, did we learn anything else other than um, slavery? In all those 10 years or 14 years we spent in learning about Black History Month, what else did we learn other than slavery? I learned about Mary Seacole. I can't lie. Who the fuck is that? You just didn't go to school, fam. <laughs> I don't know who it is either. I, I say you guys know. both went to the same school. Do you know, do you know Mary Seacole? No. You, lot, did, you lot actually didn't go to school, fam. He, he, you went to private school. What fucking. do you mean? <laughs> bro. What's that, what's that guy's name from like, uh, 8 Mile? I went to state school, bro. Clarence. Clarence, yeah. yeah Clarence. Clarence. No, yeah. no, no. no but. <laughs> Go on, who's Mary? Was it Mary Siegel? Mary Siegel, she was like a nurse. Okay, in like the, in the, the World War. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't learn about. I, I'll be honest, I didn't learn about nothing other than. Is it Mary Siegel or Florence Nightingale? Uh, Rosa, Rosa Parks. Parks. I, I only look, but again, it was only about black struggle, fam. Yeah. So what, what about like what about black like accomplishments, bro? You know, in in Britain, yeah, it's, it's it's like two sides of a coin. You learn about struggle and accomplishment. No, but we didn't learn about com- we didn't learn about did, accomplishments. Like what? You learn about Martin Luther King. That's a struggle. That's a struggle. That's a struggle. That's a struggle. She did, she what about black literature? Just, what did we learn about black literature? I learned, I only learned about black literature after taking a black uh, Asian module in uni. I didn't learn about black literature before. If we did, we just learned. We didn't know about the author. But you, listen, who's a name? Me, name me a black author. Name me a black author. Yeah, yeah, you need to Benjamin Zephaniah. You don't English. Valerie Blackman. Who the fuck is that? My point still stands like, yeah, you should learn about their excellence and what they have done. Like okay. it's two sides of a coin. You do learn about it, but you need to understand where they come from. They come but, from a place of struggle, which shouldn't but be is, the case. But does that, does that, is that uh, the only thing that defines them? No, but it's not though. The story didn't end there. And isn't slavery, isn't like, so, isn't black slavery also part of uh, British history as well? Like white British history? Yeah. 
So why is it? Why is it? Why is it? So why isn't that embedded in the English curriculum? Like it is, but why is why is a mom dedicated to Black History Month? They don't want to look bad. Exactly. Yeah. Go, that's that's the point. That's the point that I was trying to get. But I did. I went. I wanted to explain that in a way where other people can get to that point. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true, man. I feel like Black History Month should be embedded like throughout like the whole curriculum, not just a month. This country ain't gonna do that. It's bro. like a it's like a token. Like oh, here you go. Like we gave you a little month. Now shut up. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I forgot what I was going to compare it to, but I'll come back to me. But yeah, I, I learned more about like black accomplishments. Like what they, do you know, did you know, yeah, in Britain, they uh, like black writers, they had their own publishing houses because no, no like white, like British, like um, British publishing houses took any black authors. So they've done their own, they, so they built up, so they've done their own uh, publishing housing, fam. You learned this in uni? I learned this in uni, bro. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that a madness? And we, 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 everyone here, everyone, and most people who's listening to this yeah. would have got educated in oh, Britain. Does, did, did, did you, did you, did you know about this? What was it again? So black, because black authors um, couldn't find any publishing deals like, um, like let's say quote unquote, like British, white British publishers. publishers yeah. yeah. They, black people, I think it was in Brixton, they built up their own publishing houses. But that's so black, black authors can go through, for, go through that. That's a black struggle. Yeah. Well, and it's an accomplishment as well. But why didn't we learn about it like before? Fam? It's still That's, a black struggle. Like it's it's they all within the same topic, the struggles they had to go through and how they came about changing that. Yeah. We learn about that. We learn the foundations, the most key important people. But then again, I agree, like it's sort of like a topic. It shouldn't be just a month. <sighs> But the thing is, what you have to learn other stuff. You got you got to learn science as well. No, but no, no. That's what I'm saying. But why is it? I get what AB is saying. Like I feel like why is it a month? Like black history. He's not saying like oh, we changed the whole curriculum. to I'm not saying yeah. I'm not saying that oh, like no one should learn embedded throughout the year. Exactly. I'm not saying no one should learn about slavery. Of course, we should learn about slavery. I like it's a madness. Like then I feel like a lot of people can go to go do their own research. I find about like systematic like racism and stuff and current affairs regarding racism. Yeah. Yeah. And that's even if they want to, because like, do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. yeah, I feel like as as much as like slavery is emphasized, I feel like social like their accomplishments as well, yeah. like literature and art and yeah. like fear and stuff like. Do you know I, what I'm saying? I agree with you. Like, I I think yeah that like all the things that they brush over, like England's involvement in racism, is exactly. not talked about. That needs to be exposed. That needs to be uh, talked about. And you know uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now look what's happening. Yeah, all these like people up north or whatever these. EDL people, they don't think it happened, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never taught them that. Yeah, yeah. You know and it's because yeah, they, because the way we learn about slavery is as if it happened like over there yeah. in America. They were talking about England, bro. Uh, uh, exactly, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And we talk about oh yeah, look, and and the British. You know, Recently, uh, in the BLM yeah. movement, we started learning about all these statues that are still up. Do you know how they, that exactly. Is? You know, in Queen Mary, yeah, in Queen Mary, we had um, like a plaque dedicated to um, King Leopold, yeah. and it got taken down because obviously, because obviously, we know what we did. Why that's another thing. thing. That's thing another is, thing. Do, further, do you know how mad that is? What is the one that the king of Belgium, right? Yeah, and he and he slaughtered and he, he murdered like twenty million like, Congolese people. Is it twenty million Congolese people? Oh, millions. millions. Bro, that's worse than worse than the Holocaust. That's worse than the Holocaust. Exactly. That's but why do we learn about that? Cool. We learn about slavery as well. Why didn't we learn about King Leopold, fam? Why didn't we learn about what Churchill done to um to to what was it was it Irish people the Bangladesh Bangladesh yeah what he said about Indians yeah. You don't learn about a certain like, but this this brother history yeah. is whitewashed, isn't it? Exactly, and this That's brother is still on the five pound note, G. Well, Churchill was a heated one because obviously it's a double edged sword, isn't it? Like, why he, is that? Cause because everyone talks about how he's a war hero, and he's a war hero, and I can understand that from the point of this country. He did what he had to for his country, yeah. but at the expense of all the other country, like all these other countries in the colonies. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, it's I understand when they say like he's our hero, don't vandalize it. I can understand that. That's that can stay on hold, yeah. But when it comes to like people like King Leopold, bro, who cares about King Leopold? He's nothing to us. No one remembers him. So don't talk about why is there a plaque on him? Why is there a plaque on him? What did he even do other than the Congolese thing? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he done. I don't, yeah. I didn't know he, I don't know. He existed until Twitter. You know, like literally, I learned about him from Twitter. I learned about it at uni school because there, there was a was protest. Yeah, there was a protest here. I literally learned about it. Even like for example, um, me and you are from Bangladesh, innit? Yeah. There's bare like British Bangladeshi history that I didn't even know yet. There's bare Bengali, Bengali British Bengali writers. Yeah, that, bro. Do you know how, I, you I, know I, how learn, I learn? I learn about it in, in the module, fam. Like, for example, even like near QM and stuff, yeah. There's that park, Al Tabali Park, in it. Yeah. Um, that was it was named after that because um, this guy who was like a worker in it from Bangladesh. Yeah. He got like chased home and and joked with a knife. Basically, he died in that park. Like, racists were chasing him through the park and they killed him. And obviously. I don't know, I feel like us as Bengali people or like Asian people, yeah, we're very passive nowadays. 
Like we don't see protesting as our thing. We don't see any of that stuff as our thing. People yet. are just soft, man. But back in the day, bro, they were they were on it. You know, yeah. like I seen the brick lane, man. Yeah, I seen yeah. I seen like uh, pictures of like them going on protests. Uh, there was a sick one. There was a sick one where like this woman. Yeah, do you know Bengali people? Um, they protest with black people as well. Yeah, there was, to fight to fight for their rights and all. Yeah, there was one where there's Bengali woman. Yeah, like I think I think her bullies or like racist or something must have killed her son in it. Yeah. And then she started a whole like It's called like The Bangladeshi Women's Movement Or something mm-hmm. So she started a whole organisation To make sure that like Bengali women are getting The support they needed m- Making sure that they get The vote they need And stuff like that Like just doing a madness in it Basically looking after the ends Make sure that Like her people are good But it's crazy We don't know Like obviously uh, Bangladesh is one, so much, one small yeah. country in it yeah, and, There's like, only so much You can't learn teach, about yeah. it But even then Like between our countries as well Yeah Why don't we learn about The madness that Britain done To divide us Yeah you know I mean? Again, it's obviously is to make. And did you realize Britain is the only one with the with the adjective before the, with the, with the pre modifier fam? Like Great Britain. Great Britain. Did you have you ever heard about uh, Great France? Uh, uh, Am- no, amazing. That fantastic France, or you know what I'm saying? Incredible India. Like, you never hear about this shit, fam. The fuck so great about this country, man? I'm I'm cold and it's racist, <laughs> and the food is shit. I mean, I feel like we made the food pretty nice, you know. That's what I'm saying. There should be an immigrant on um, on that five pounder instead of Winston Churchill. I think it's it's kind of hard for us to talk about racism and things like that in in England because we live in quite a, a great place, like North West London. I mean, there is racism that's very, very on, on the slide. Yes. No, but sometimes that's worse. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. There's Islamophobia. There's all that stuff. But compared to if if we all lived individually, like in like, let's say like I don't know, like in Cheshire or some shit. Yeah, some weird places in it. Yeah. I don't even know if Cheshire's racist. I just thought it was that's out that's there. One of them out, out there, them out there places. I was thinking of like, you know, like in, Man- in Yorkshire and stuff like that. Yorkshire Manchester, Manchester and stuff like that. Well, I had teachers from Yorkshire telling me if you go deep enough into the towns, there will be hella racist openly because they've never seen like black or Asian people. Do you feel like the fear of the unknown is a reason to be racist? Not racist, it's but not, like just just so like to be... Not, not a justifying reason, but I think it is a, it's a cause of people it's being racist. It's a cause, yeah. Like I can see why, not why people would be racist, but I can see how they got to that. Where it stemmed like, from. Yeah. But do you think it's interesting, yeah, when white, when let's say white people go to countries like in Asia and in Africa, like there's, they're not treated with the same hostility, you know what I'm saying? They're actually, um, yeah, they're praised because um, during the colonial project, they're seen as like the superior race. Yeah. So you see Indians, that's why Indians, they're lovely. yeah. They they um they have all these uh, products to be make them lie or they uh, they idolize fairer people. It's uh, it's like what you, it's like it? yeah. It's it's like it's very uh, thingy. It's very uh, subliminal. Yeah, that's, that's in everything. Though. Like, I feel like anti. Why are darker people a thing? Why were why were dark people getting cussed in high school calling them picking up? Yeah, I think anti blackness is in every. That's another thing where I saw where the you know the whole um, Jeremy Corbyn thing came out yeah, and someone said oh. Anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, so, is, <laughs> anti-Semitism is the most um, tolerated form of racism in, in, in the UK. <laughs> How? Bro, anti-blackness <laughs> is in every community. Even even between black people themselves, there's anti-blackness. Yeah. You can never tell me there's anything more prevalent and more tolerated than anti-blackness or colorism. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because even we'll see it in our own communities. Like if we're, we're from Bangladesh, yeah. I've, very dark people. And I've had people, like not me, but I think this girl told me one time, like someone came to her mum, yeah. And said, "Oh, it's going to be very hard for your daughters to get married because they're too dark." I've I've had people say that as well. Do you know how mad yeah, that is? Had, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I've I've had, I've had people say that. Not to me, um, but within our community, you know. okay. yeah. the Asian I can only speak for the Asian community. We need the we need the deep cleanse from. We need to take out all imperial ideologies out of our out of our, our, mind, our mindset, our yeah. perspectives, and thinking. Yeah, but yeah, my, you know what? Also, I feel like yeah, people should also stop comparing racism. Comparing Same. struggles and yeah, you know, oppression Olympics and yeah, things man. like that, because it's it's weird, man. Like you can't say, I can't you can't tell me oh there's people in Africa starving just because I said I'm hungry, fam. I'm still hungry. That that just went left, you know. Like, I don't know where that point came out. I'm, no, I'm still I'm that still point hungry. Came out of no, I feel like you've been sitting on that for a while. <laughs> yeah. I'm, but I'm still hungry, fam. I was, you know I was what I'm saying. I was, what kind of yeah, I was thinking of more like you know sometimes oh, well, when I go on like maybe TikTok or something, yeah, and people are talking like there's there'll be Chinese creators or Korean creators or whatever they're like East Asian in it. And they'll be talking about the racism that they've experienced being an East Asian person. So like someone with like, who would be considered to have smaller eyes and the racism that they've been, been, been through in it. Yeah. And then it's weird in it. Cause then what will happen is people will comment on their, 
comments saying like, what about the Muslims in China? That person themselves is not responsible for everything that is happening yeah, exactly, in China. Yeah. They're trying to speak their experience. Yeah. There's no need to gaslight them, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, applying pressure to them is going to do what? And no one's obliged to talk about anything other than their own issues, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. Unless, unless like, you're, you have a, like, you have yeah. a platform like you should, you, you, should, you, should, you should feel the need to, but you, you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah, like, no one should force you. And that's if, if we, like, for example, if someone's forcing us here yeah, to speak about a topic, that's a different story because you spoke about other topics. No one could force me to speak about a topic. No, but it makes sense. If someone's like, if someone came to me like, yo, fam, like, I beg you to talk about, I don't know, like this issue. Yeah. Because we spoke about other issues. Yeah. I would, that I'll would t- make, I'll take, mo- it, I'll take it as a suggestion. That, that would make, that would make more sense to me. Do, do I, I mean, like, for example, if let's, let's say I'm on like Instagram live or something here and I'm talking about what happened in, um, let's say I'm talking about uh, racism faced as an Asian guy in it. Yeah. And the people say, oh, come up to me and say, what about the racism within the Asian community to other people in it? Yeah. I'll be like, but right now I'm talking about, well, wouldn't that be a topic that, that you do you touch on? No, but I'll be talking about I'm talking about no, ra- racism not in, that not Asian in that people. life, not no. in that life, but no, no, but in that specific time, I'm only talking about that thing, yeah. and you're trying to brush that aside by saying that you can't talk about that because this happens in your community. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really fuck with that. To be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean, I that's what I'm talking about with the Chinese I, crazy. I hear what you're saying. They're talking about how they're like receiving racism for like people saying like Chinese virus and stuff like that. Yeah. And then people in the comments saying, oh, but what about the Muslims in China? I feel like, oh, inst- anywhere, exactly. Like. Yeah. I- instead of saying that, why don't you just commend them for speaking up? To, to, Cause it takes a lot of courage period to speak up, uh, uh, to speak up against anything. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Whether it's yeah. racist, anything, bro. Yeah. Where do you think it stems from? Like, oh yeah. Like, why do you think people want to invalidate other people? I think it's frustration. So, everyone, if I'm everyone, honest. Everyone is just so self-centered these days, man. I, 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 Oh, is that you can have a look at that, or everyone's just frustrated, man? I think they're frustrated, but people always, I guess it's natural that you see things it's from easy, your yeah, point of view. Yeah, pain. exactly. It's easier to express your own struggles yeah. than see, hey, than speak up for someone else's struggle, isn't it? Mm. But there's enough fruits to go around, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are like, you can only deal with one problem at a time. Yeah, there's there's too many problems to deal with. Uh, to be honest, all you could do is create a discourse anyway. Like, there's nothing else meaningful that we can do because no one's going to fucking protest. And what's a protest going to do as well? I feel like on social media as well, like, there's like you're rewarded for like outlandish work like behavior or just like pouring people like comedic factor you know what I'm saying you know what I find in ne- what's so neat here is that recording neaties do you know what I'm saying I feel like I find recording anyone without their consent is weird very weird yeah and then posting them on to I'm just bait what's worse here is there's fucking people that record people asleep on <laughs> on um on whatever fam cause I can't like that could be me one day <laughs> That's not the point, by the way. Like, do you guys, just, just let someone, just let let someone sleep, man. It's cool, man. What happened to you, bro? Someone, someone's. Oh, you think I changed? <laughs> you think I changed? No, you're I'm grown, man. Cool. I'm sleeping, bro. I'm, I'm a grown guy, man. Yeah, I just think people are just like it's like they don't even care about what they're talking. About. Let's say when, what Kyojin was talking about here. Yeah, he's saying certain people try and validate like another struggle, but compare it to another struggle. Yeah, like they they try and validate one struggle by talking about how that person, that race. Their country is bro, I'm fucking waffling, fam. No, go on. No, you can make it land. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> do you want? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want a minute? Yeah, I think we just <laughs> yeah. Spell red one. <laughs> oh, you gonna touch on the the whole France thing? Yeah. What did he say? Go on. What did he say? He's, he's, I think he was saying something like basically he's got he wants to go into Muslim communities in France and actually reform Islam. Is there like he wants to change Islam? Like going. I remember. There I, re- I remember he said it when the first thing came out that yeah. he wants to reform Islam. He wants to reform Islam. Well, I don't take know what the re- and take out terrorism from Islam or something like that. Like. But it's just the rhetoric in it, like because right now, yeah, the thing is, is France what did has always had a reform. The France has always Islam. had an issue with Islam. That's Who? the thing. France has always had an issue with Islam yeah, from the jump store. Because obviously, the, when they colonized those North African countries, then those people came over. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why I colonize if you don't want people just to type come in over, reform or something, bro? Can't I scroll through your whole Twitter account. You just scrolling through the TL hoping something comes up. <laughs> oh yeah, Macron. So yeah, Macron. Macron. Yeah. What is he, what do you say? I don't find it. Okay. He wants to reform. Bro, you know how I looked at his phone yet? Yeah? Hollow he was, he was scrolling through Twitter hoping bro, it would come up fam. He didn't even search anything, bro. He was looking for his timeline. Just like We're all waiting on him. <laughs> yeah. He's just scrolling through. He's still doing it, you no, know. He's in French and how to find what he's saying in French. He did it in Arabic as well. What? Macron was tweeting in Arabic. <sighs> oh, so oh, like his idea. Language, you know what? Like, Let's do a little segue here. Yeah? Speaking of France, yeah. 
what did you think of what Benzema said to Vinicius or what he said about him? What did you say about him? You didn't see it. I saw the video, but apparently it was fabricated. What? Yeah, like apparently- the translation wasn't really correct. Like I, I, that's what I read. Well, obviously, Twitter you can't really it's not because really people people right people were going mad with that. So basically, for those you, you didn't, did you see it? Okay, but like the, what he said was kind of mad, isn't it? So basically, one of the players, Vinicius, isn't it? He's a player that plays for Real Madrid, and then one of them, like he's a young player. How old is he? Like twenty. Something like that, yeah. Something like twenty, yeah. And then there's a senior player. You know Benzema, obviously. Isn't it? He was. He said to another player, he said, "On oh, my mom's life, don't pass to him anymore. He's playing oh, against I heard us." About that. Yeah, he's yeah. playing against us. Don't pass yeah, to him no more. Like he's playing against us. Yeah. So then. Was he on the team? Same team. Yeah, same team. Same team. Oh. At halftime, he was saying, "On oh, my mom's life." But he basically said it in front of him, like he was, yeah, like he was standing there training, looking yeah. at him. But yeah. obviously, he spoke in French, innit? So he, oh, Vinicius didn't understand. Oh, he doesn't understand French. No. Oh, obviously, it's not French. Like, no, no. Why did he say that though? Because he was playing dead. Wait, did he tweet or say it? No, he, he said it. Like, nah, he's, he's literally in the, like... In the tunnel at half time. Oh, okay. Yeah, at half time when he's in the tunnel, he's like, and my mom's like, he's, he's playing against us, don't pass to him no more. What do, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you think that's the right way to go about it? It's not about it, you know, if it's true at first. But if it is true, then I don't it's know. Not, I don't think it's true, man. Benz was a bit of a role, role model to him. Like, look at the way they have a decent relationship. So yeah. I don't know if he... I can, I can see Benzema saying that, though. I don't know. Because of the way he spoke about Giroud. Drew, it is a lampos though. Uh, he's not a lampos. Drew, Drew's been waving for us, for Chelsea. Yeah, as a super sub, he's like, I think, I think, he, I think he's he's undervalued at Chelsea. I, he, I think he's been better than I expected. Like when he left Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. everyone was saying that Arsenal fans. He's still not a great shit. player. Like, look at the World Cup. Like he might be a decent. He was good in the World Cup. He might be the guy has zero shots. On the yeah, league, but he yeah. was good. He was all right. He was, all right. He, was, any, he, he was at Firmino before Firmino. Like you can put any striker in that same position and. France would have still won the World Cup. I don't think so. I don't. Th- I don't think they could do the role. But Benzema, did. then they would have won it easily. I don't know, man. I don't know. Now, what do, What do you think? Like, not not even in terms of football, yeah. But being like a senior figure on the team, what do you? Because obviously, you know, did you guys watch the Last Dance? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you see the way Michael Jordan speaks to the players. Yeah. He would like cuss them down. He'll break down their confidence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie. I don't fuck with that. Bro, it's a winner's mentality, man. You got to be yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? If if it's like it's like you yeah carrying the team well, he, well there's Scotty Pippen there's Scotty Pippen as well yeah well, he, but fam if there's someone fucking up you got to stick on them fam I don't, I don't, at I don't the agree. end of the at the end of the day everyone in that team's got a mutual goal like if anything yeah it like molded them to what Michael Jordan wanted them to be and if anything they, it wasn't like out of their will they he shot them down so that they can build themselves exactly. up exactly. I don't, I don't think I don't think that. I, was telling him to, I swear he's telling him to go train harder and. Nah, bro. He was saying some mad. Obviously, I watched the documentary a long time ago, innit? Yeah. So it was in the first lo- lockdown 1.0, innit? Time yeah, ago. I might, I might run that again, you know. It was very good. I like the music in it. The, the, I can't remember how it goes, but. Oh, I, shut up. It was good. It was good. <laughs> but I don't think that that mentality works for everyone, innit? There's some players. Well, it worked. No, but some, it was, it, some players had to play off the. You know, like, for example, uh, what was the kid's name from Europe? I don't know who you're talking about, but I forgot. It's like Tony Kukic or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that Tony Kukic, yeah. The way, like, bro, he's a, he's a 19-year-old, yeah? And just because he was going to get signed to the same team as them, yeah? When they played each other in, like, an international match, innit? Bro, they were beating the shit out of him, fam. What do you mean beating this, the shit this out of him? This is their, this is their, this is their, their soon-to-be teammate. And just because they were jealous of, like, the media attention he was getting from their owner, yeah? They were, like, they were telling him, you're shit, you did it, all that stuff like that. Like, oh, back then, they used to get less fouls, innit? So they, they went hard on him. He's a teenager, fam. Bro, you the part of the game, fam. Nah, fam, because he could have yeah, been, game, been a superstar. Do you know what I mean? The game's, what, oh, because Michael Jordan and them man shut them down and he didn't become a superstar. 100%. 100%, bro. <laughs> then he weren't meant for it then, fam. What do you it's mean? Cool, bro, he didn't, make a, he didn't F- make it. First of all, you don't know the dynamic of basketball, innit? Who cares? I don't if, care. If there's too many stars on the team, yeah, obviously not going to work out. But he's just, he's just not a facilitator in that sense. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he pushed, Michael Jordan. Yeah, he just pushes people to the limit. And if you're not on it, then you, you fall off. But I don't, I don't agree with that, though. Yeah, pe- bare people fell off. Who? Bro. Like who? Tony Kukic didn't meet his potential. What, did he join the, uh, the Bulls? Yeah. Okay. Then what happened? They won stuff, but he didn't get he didn't meet his potential and he wasn't happy as well. Dude, he could fuck off the club. What do you mean, fam? How's he, it's not like in uh, basketball, you can just leave like that. And it's not like in football, you can just leave like that. Okay. You're tied down to a contract and you have to stay I, for I, I can't lie. If, I, 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 don't, I don't see anything. Obviously, what does, there, there might be some things where he went a bit too left. But the game's the game, man. He's he's got a, he's he's got a goal that he needs to think. Everyone, everyone in that team had the same goal, fam. What do you mean? That what they didn't want to win championships or? They didn't want to kill themselves. When they came bro, out. listen, die on the first wall. 
Like the thing is, if you if you want to be a good leader, yeah, you can have to motivate your people, and sometimes it means shooting them down. But if that's not working, you don't just leave my, your guy on a battlefield just dead. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. He he had no other approach. His only approach was shooting people down. Well, what was he going to do? Show their hand and be like, "Oh, hey, I have some tea and biscuits." When these times they got a, they they got a playoff game in like two days. So, why didn't he have the same energy for Dennis Rodman? What did what happened? What happened or not? He let Dennis Rodman like run away for two days and go. No, but on, he came back and played on WWE or some shit. No, but he came back and and he this, came this back. This guy was like with NWO. Then he came back and he won the thing. He was with like what's that Carmen Electra? I saw you beat her. I saw yeah. I saw that with like. That's the, his thing. My man. <laughs> yeah, but I saw he came back and he done that. Yeah, but you you shouldn't trust your players to do that stuff. To leave two days before the game and come on the day of the game, I wouldn't trust my players. That man went to his book signing just as a bride. Do you think that's he don't care? He can he can do what he wants, fam. He came back and he played. Nah, if, I don't if Dennis Roman is like like carrying the team and doing well, then why not? He wasn't carrying the team. He was part of it. He was part of the team. But I just he's don't part, agree he's with part that. Of the, he was part of the I, trio. I just don't agree with that. Like, cause I think then you only have like you have it, it fucks with people in my opinion. It some things are bigger than sports. And like if you're putting people through shit every day, yeah, I don't rate that personally. Like the yeah, way he, cool. the way he was moving, I don't think like cause you Actually, do you know what is the reason why I will say this? Actually, because at the end of the documentary, yeah, I clocked that this guy wasn't happy at all, fam. Who? Uh, Michael Jordan. He was not happy. He didn't seem happy with his life at all, bro. Because even like Johnny Post, like even did you watch it? Watch what? Uh, Last Dance. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that's at the end, yeah? How he was bare defensive about the way he treated other players. Who, Michael? Yeah, and he was like, he was like, they were like, would you do it again? And he was, he looked kind of sad, and he was like, yeah, I think I'll do it again. Bro, he, I think he did cry at one point. I think he did, yeah, he did yeah. Because honestly, fam, his I, eyes were yellow, fam. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what was going on there, but like, on, some like, gin. like in all seriousness, yeah, you can see on his face that like he doesn't like the fact that his teammates don't like him no more. You can see that he resents it. But and also that winning mentality consumed him, yeah. Because well, obviously we can't we can't assume things, yeah. But it seems like he got his dad killed. I, I heard about yeah the the gambling thing. I yeah, saw, I saw it was of gambling. Yeah, I felt really sorry for him at that, at that like in that part. Of the and he won. I saw he won the championship on Father's Day or something like that. Yeah. yeah, that's when he that's who's crying in the locker, isn't it? Yeah, that was his first championship with his dad. Had the red red elements on his feet. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I got I got his uh, the sixes. They won the last championship. In I got that. You I got it before you. Yeah. I got the new editions though. So you, you got it after me. You, you, you got, the got pink, I, you ones are basically pink, fam. I got the pre-release. Okay, what is this the exam, fam? We talk about pre-release. Is, I don't I don't care if stuff is a pre-release. Basically, the point of the matter who's is got the, who's got the shoe? Me and you. Okay, what is it? You copy me. That's the oh, point. Okay, you copy all my crepes to us, there. You don't have any crepes. Okay. <laughs> listen, okay. <laughs> listen, I don't, I don't mind fucking what. I don't mind. Man. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind the winning mentality still. I do agree that it, like it did consume him. I feel like you can see I, it in his eyes, bro. Like I don't think if he went back, he wouldn't have changed it because. He wanted to win six finals, six wants, rings. Yeah, like, and that's what he wanted. Like he wanted to become the girl, and that's that's what it came with it. With, like losing his relationship. With but the you teammates. can you can see it like it played on him heavy. Do you know what I mean? And and it also fucked up things for other people as well. Like for example, like Isaiah Thomas. Just because he didn't oh, like Isaiah Thomas, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't, Isaiah Thomas didn't get to the dream team. Like yeah, obviously they would have won with with or without him, but they robbed Isaiah Thomas of that experience of winning like the Olympics or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I feel yeah, like, that was a bitch move. I can't. I didn't disagree. I didn't agree with that. I feel like if he was trying to play mind games with his teammates, then that's fucked in it. But like, if it was like pure out of passion, he was just saying on the on the dot from the top of his head, it's all right because you can't really hold yourself accountable. Bro, I think he was just a piece of shit, man. Honestly, like obviously he's a sick guy in terms of basketball. He's top two, definitely. There's no argument in it. Mm. But he's a piece of shit. And I know people. I, I know people at home will be listening, saying like, "It doesn't matter if it was a piece of shit. Like he's won rings and and you haven't in it." But I'm happy with my life. He doesn't seem happy with his life. Yeah, the um, gift and the curse, isn't it? I do hear that. I can't lie. But if I if if I had my man shouting at me, I'll be like, "Yo, cool, I need to go hard. I need to go hard in the gym now, man." I'll go home, fam. I'll cry. I'll be like Kwame Brown. <laughs> oh fuck! You don't know who Kwame Brown is? No. Yo, no, no. Did you know? Do you know who Kwame Brown is? He's a boss. Boss boy. He's basically when uh, Michael Jordan came back the second time in it, mm-hmm. there was a guy called Kwame Brown. He was like the first pick or something in it, and the guy just cussed him down so much. He was like, "I think your mom will regret having you," stuff like that. Bro. Going ham in it, and then like, yeah, that guy was a bust. Like he couldn't play basketball after that. But I, 
Yeah. Conf- someone, confidence someone, is a big thing. someone it? words affect you that much? Yeah. To a point where you can't even play basketball? Yeah. Mm. Especially if it's coming from the GOAT at the time. And if it's constant as well. Yeah. Like every day in the gym and that. And also like, you are in a position where you feel like, I made it and then someone's trying to shit to me. Yeah. This whole time. Yeah, yeah. True. True. What happened to, um, you know, for Arsenal, yeah? Who's who's your centre backs right now? Gabriel and holding today, isn't it? Holding, yeah. Who's it usually? Is it them two usually? Yeah. No, Gabriel and Louise. Louise, what Depends happened to you? What back. happened to William Saliba? I don't know. You know, um, the thing is, yeah, he came back and his mother passed away. You know that? Swear down. Yeah, and he's only like eighteen, isn't it? Yeah, I was saying he's like the next best thing, like the best yeah. young centre back. I don't in really the world. understand the treatment that's going on with him right now because apparently you're supposed to go on loan to a French team this season, or I don't know, or like be promoted and start playing. But yeah. I don't know what goes on behind the doors, but his mother passed, and I don't know. He might have been the same. Thing. So where's he now? He's there. I swear, I swear he's on. He's on loan now. No, no, he's still at Arsenal. Uh, did he, he go on loan? Squad. No, he plays for the under twenty threes right now. To keep fit. Oh, I thought he went on loan. Like they just got rid of him. No, he's still about. Garb- have you seen, been seeing Gabriel playing? I don't. I don't even watch football like that. Is it? <laughs> I'll check it. I'll check it. I know you don't. I see, he scored a goal in the first day, innit? Yeah, yeah. He's been. A, he's been probably our best player. This Your season. best signing. What happened to Thomas Party on like? Partey was man of the match today. Yeah, today. What, was it the Europa League match? Four one. Did you win? One. Yeah, yeah, I saw you won. What's the, what's that one where people were saying Partey's kind of washed? He's not washed, man. It was like yeah, what was the game though? Like he's looking like a passenger. I, I don't know, man. There was a game, bro. He was looking like a passenger. First one. I think so. Yeah. What Leicester? Yeah, 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 yeah. Leicester, I don't know, man. That was just a bad performance. I don't know. What do you, what do you think about the future of Arsenal, man? I think you guys are looking good because obviously Pep is like no Arteta is like baby Pep in it. I think trust the process. Like there's, it's going to be a rocky road to begin with, but it's like at the end of the tunnel. Like <laughs> like Emery, it was a rocky road with nothing at the end. Of it. I I remember when you guys were so gassed that Emery came. Who was gassed? Me. All the Arsenal fans were bare gassed because obviously I don't I, think so. You I know. feel I like they were just kind of happy that people got like we got rid of Wenger. Yeah, they were, I think they were more happy that there was actually a change. Yeah. Rather than whoever, who, think, like whoever came in. Honestly, like of all, all people that I know. Yeah. I don't think anyone had Emery in their top three managers of who they wanted to replace. Like AB could have come in and you'd be happy. I think AB would have done a better job in it. Let's be real. You think I want to go Lionel Messi, Lionel Ronaldo to play for <laughs> to, to play for Arsenal? <laughs> this guy would play Tiger Woods up front, <laughs> <laughs> like, hitting them fools in it. <laughs> That's not cricket fam. That's racist. Okay. I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> Did you lose the Europa League game this year? Tottenham lost the other day, innit? I I don't know, man. When, when was the last Europa League game? This week? Yeah. You won that? I can't remember. I'm not even Did I even watch it? <laughs> What's going on, fam? What do you we think? won the first one, like 2-1 away. Yeah. Who do we play? We play some shitty my home. They're putting bare games on the box office now, fam. I'm, I'm not. I haven't paid for any of them. I'm not going to pay for any of them. Oh, I don't, I don't think I ever paid for them. I paid for the USC. Oh, I paid for the Khabib I'm just one. trying to. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not even trying to pay for that either. Huh? Box office, yeah. Because you see with USC, they only have like two fights a year that are on box office, innit? Yeah, yeah, the rest of it is just you can watch it. Straight on BT Sport. That pay per view money just goes to Dana. <laughs> Dana. It's not. Dana. It's not. It's not going to the fires. Yeah, but like, um, wasn't I saw a start yet? You know, Europa League, innit? How, how many seasons you guys been in the Europa League? It's the fourth one. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know, every time we've been in the Europa League, yeah, yeah, yeah. we haven't lost a game. Who us? Chelsea. Chelsea. We've never lost a game in the Europa League. So what? Do we, you lot have been there for four years, yeah. And you tell me you haven't won it once. This is this is our fourth year. The first year we lost to Atletico. Yeah. In semis. Okay. Then we lost to Chelsea in the final. Yeah. And then obviously Olympic Olympiacos done us dirty, innit? <laughs> That's, it. That's it. That was Emery's collapse. So. I just feel like we're the superior team when it comes to like continental. Yeah, well, in Europe. Yeah. When in London, in London, like out of the London teams, no one can chat to us about Champions League and Europe League and that. I feel like Chelsea fans are way too you guys just because they want one one Champions League. Yeah, what do you mean? That's are you have have you won the Champions League? No, but like that one Champions League doesn't like mean anything. It means a lot to be honest. No, you can't say you're a bigger team. You, you know what? Yeah, you, I, won. you know how, what? How many yeah. league titles have you guys won? Though? You know, I I rather I rather have that one Champions League than an invincible season. And I think everyone wins the Champions League every year. It's no, but I, I think I think Wenger, 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 Wenger said it too as well. Huh? Wenger said it as well. Wenger, That's Wenger, never won the Wenger said he would swap his uh invincible title for a Champions League. I think he just said that in the context of asking. Like no, they, calling out what the 2006 final was saying. Yeah, he was swap it. You know, you know, overrate That's that. Wenger, I'm not Wenger. You overrate that invincible season too much, man. Hella draws as well. So why has no one else done it? 
Because no one's trying to go for draws, fam, all the time. It's not draws. And uh, nowadays, yeah, you can't even go for draws and win the league. Because, like, look at what's called Liverpool. It was season, like 22 wins or something. Season before Liverpool no, got like. That. How many wins did we have? Like 26? Can't be that much. It is 26 wins, 12 draws, or something like that. Yeah, so like 13 draws or 12 draws or something. Like What's so bad about that? Oh, well, you draw that. bare games, man. With no losses. <laughs> I don't get what you're trying to say for him. We went. We went oh, man, I rub up, rub you know what I'm saying? 49 games without winning. The, the manager himself, yeah, said that he would top it for Champions League. I think I think he, he maybe said in the context of like, like, there's not nothing tangible of having like uh, an invincible title. Yeah, so he, title. he would rather not, win the Champions he can't, League. He can't put an invincible title in a trophy case. So he'd rather win the Champions League? Me yeah. personally? No, him. Yes or no? I don't know. That's that's one guy. But he said it, fam. Yeah, but no one else has done the, the invincible thing, though. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. What do you mean it doesn't matter? If you've done it, if if any other club done it, they'll be running running with it as well. No, I wouldn't. Oh, see, see, see them fans there. Any takeaways from this episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think the conclusion is a uh, fuck Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, innit? Chelsea's shit. Have you seen that video with the guys like, with the, oh, yeah, the guy the walking, walking and he goes like, fuck like, Chelsea. Fuck you. He's like, no, fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny. Do you, remember, do you remember that time, yeah? Obviously, Laska don't watch football, innit? But all I remember is that one time where Arsenal beat Barcelona and all these men came over like Arsenal scars and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And I took a picture on the bench. <laughs> I can say, how about this? When all the men bought the banners and like, they were standing on the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there, I was in year 10. Listen, I didn't know what I was doing. I just saw people celebrate. I thought I wanted to celebrate. That's it. Why are you lying, for? I didn't see no flags, fam. <laughs> I didn't go to school. This guy thought, this guy thought Bangladesh won the World Cup. <laughs> does, does Bangladesh have a football team? Yeah. No. Oh. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so anyway Apparently India got into the World Cup here And then they got <laughs> They got they got into the World Cup here And then they had to They had to leave the World Cup Because they Came up without Came without boots They wanted to play bare feet It's because too many man, Too many of them man Are wearing it to prom fam Just getting worn out What? Wearing football boots to prom <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stop on that one Shut up Okay Goodbye